Hey guys, what's up? So the other day I was just, you know, thinking, pondering about my horrid childhood and I thought of a story that I have not really told much at all. And you know what? It's a zinger. So today we're gonna tell it. We're gonna tell it really good. So if you couldn't already tell, this story has something to do with a frisbee, but um, we'll get into that. So first of all, I want to explain. When I was a kid, I went to a Catholic school, like from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. So like a really long time of my life, I was in the school. So in fifth grade, this girl, um, okay, I'm not going to use real names, so let's just call her um, Sally. So Sally transfers from public school to our school. So she came to our school and quickly she became friends with this other girl. We'll call her Anna. So Sally and Anna were like inseparable and people would like phase in and out of their friend group but no matter who was friends with them they were always two, the two friends like they were the closest you know. In seventh grade I made the stupid decision of being friends with them which honestly I would blame myself more for but at the time, I was like really bad at making friends. I mean, we only had like 18 people in my entire grade and two thirds of them were boys. And I was not good at making friends with boys. So they were all like, count, count me out, not friends with them. So the only option were girls. There was Sally and Anna, me, two fairly normal-ish girls, but they were friends with the guys. And then the other girl, was very, very shy, like she did not talk. So unless I wanted to have no friends, I was gonna be friends with these two girls. They were who I was gonna be friends with. I was determined. So seventh grade, I became friends with them. They were my homies. I remember in middle school when you would like make notes for your friends and like write them like a nice little note and you take all that time and make like a little drawing for them. Like we were that, that close. Anyways. So some days at my school, we would have like reward kind of things. Like to be honest, I don't quite even remember like what the reward was for or like what we did, but I guess maybe it was just for like being good. I don't know. That day we got rewarded with ice cream. So I was very, very excited about this ice cream. I deserved this ice cream. I deserved this ice cream. So we're eating lunch, we're all like getting hyped, getting ready, because we're the only class in this lunch shift that gets the ice cream. Everyone else lost, okay? So the bell rings for recess, everyone else goes outside, we line up, we get our ice cream, the gates of heaven open up, shine down on us, and life is beautiful. So then we go outside with all the rest of the kids and we go have recess. Our recess place was literally just a bunch of gravel. Like we didn't actually have grass or anything like that. You had to make do. So most people played kickball, but I was like an unathletic piece of crap at the time. So I avoided that situation. So that day I was just set on enjoying my ice cream. That's all I wanted to do. So I'm walking around the kickball game so I can go sit down on the steps. So I'm walking over to the steps, but I'm walking like right next to the building. And I see on the steps, I see Anna standing there looking kind of suspicious. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, whatever. Who cares? Like, I'm just going to keep walking. Like, that's not relevant to me. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, I hear Sally yell, Maddie! Like, like excited. Like, they sounded excited. I was like, oh, okay. I turn around. And in that moment, I knew everything was about to go wrong. Panic! <laughs> At the schoolyard. I turned to my left, just in time to see a frisbee coming straight for my face. And obviously, I'm like only in seventh grade and I have no reflexes developed anyways. Plus, it was way too late for me to move. So I just stand there and watch as this thing comes full speed at me and hits me smack dab in the nose. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever been hit with a frisbee in the face, but um, it hurts. So of course, as the little baby I was, I start crying instantly. So here I am, just imagine a little seventh grade girl standing in a uniform holding her ice cream, which it's hot outside, so this ice cream is melting by now. So now I have tears, blood, 
and ice cream dripping down my body and onto the ground in just a pool of disgusting mixture. And there is blood like gushing out of my nose. Gushing. So I was like freaking out, crying, crying, crying. Fun fact though, guess who was a teacher at my school? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, my mother. And she just so happened to be on recess duty. So my mom walks up and sees me crying and sees Sally standing in the corner looking like she just saw someone die. Close enough. And Anna is just like looking innocent as hell. But of course, my mom knows, she knows Anna had to be involved somehow. So I'm crying and my mom takes me inside cleans me up. So obviously, we had to go to the principal's office and my mom like wasn't someone who wanted to play favorites so she wasn't gonna play favorites on me but it was so obvious that these two girls were in the wrong like there was nothing that I did wrong. I'm literally like wa I was walking around and then I got hit with a frisbee like I don't know. So we're sitting in the principal's office, me, Sally, and Anna and she asks us what happened. Then Sally breaks down crying herself. It says, it was an accident, accident. Accident. What? 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 Can you say that again? What? 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 Where? Like, I just, honestly, in that moment, I was baffled. You throw a frisbee thinking that nothing will happen to me. Like, what? Can you say that again? What? And Sally's excuse was basically that she didn't think it was gonna hit me. She thought she was gonna have bad aim or something. Or she thought it was like, just gonna like go over my head. I don't know. But you know what? I was mad. But I mean, me and her are on cool terms now. Like, she's a really nice girl and she's changed since middle school. She's grown up a lot. So like, if she ever sees this video, no hate on her. But yeah, I just thought it would be really funny to tell the story of the time that I got hit in the face with a frisbee and my nose started gushing blood everywhere and ruined my ice cream which if you know anything about me you know that I love ice cream with such a burning passion in my soul so yeah I hope you enjoyed enjoyed that little story time give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it because that way more people gonna see this video and they gonna enjoy it and leave a comment below because I want some feedback criticism nice comments whatever you have to say Oh, and if you like me, hit that subscribe button so then you can see more of me. Subscribe. Can you say that again? Subscribe. Okay, so thanks for watching. That'll be all, so bye.